Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's it's been a minute. I just have not had any inspiration to film because it's like mental health for you guys. Um, but I have been buying a lot of books like the last since my last video, and I figured I would just come on here and do an overall collective book haul. So let's jump right into it. First I got was Twisted Hate. I read Twisted Games, Twisted Love, and then I read this on my Kindle, and then I absolutely knew that I needed it because I'm not going to leave the other two books up there bare. So I got Twisted Hate. And then same goes, a lot of these books I've already read on my Kindle, but just the fact that I absolutely love them, I needed them in paperback. So I put off buying this series because I wanted them signed, but I don't know when she's ever going to do her books signed. So I went and bought the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. Absolutely loved them. Wrecked and Redeemed are my top two favorites of the series. Yeah, nothing else can really compare to them. We have Throttled, which is book one. You don't have to read them in, seri in the order of, like, like book order. But I do feel like it's necessary because you will, you do get introduced to the characters in this book. And then next we have Collided, which is a friends to lover bucket list romance. Wrecked is kind of like a Playboy reputa reputation repairment. Um, this is on the side of, like, boss employee, boss assistant, something like that. So that one's good. And then Redeemed is like strangers to lovers. This one's really cute as well. Like I said, these two are my top favorites. Back to Redeemed. And also the discreet covers are beautiful. So had to get those. And then I read Terms and Conditions as an arc. Um, I absolutely loved it. I have the fine print up there and yeah. I knew that I needed Terms and Conditions as well. Next, I read this on Kindle as well. This is The Reunion by Megan Quinn. This is a six multiple POV book. It's got six point of views, so it's not confusing for me because I've read Some Kind of Perfect and that one has multiple POVs, but you've got Friends to Lovers in this, you've got Boss Assistant Romance, and then you have Childhood Friends to Lovers, so all those tropes in here, every story like seamlessly lines up so she did a great job on this. Next Candy Steiner had um, a book sale Valentine's Day and I think everything was 25% off and everything was signed so I ordered three books. Um, Manhattan this is part of her Becker Brothers series. This features Mikey and Kate Kylie. Um, this one is angsty. I would recommend reading her Becker Brothers series in order because they kind of like they're trying to solve like how their dad died so I would recommend reading this series in order. Next I got Close Quarters. This is um like age gap romance. They're on a yacht. He's a billionaire. She is originally there with her boyfriend but her boyfriend screws up and then he gets kicked off the yacht and then these two come together. And then this one I read this one over President's Day weekend. I was scared out of my mind. Everyone on Instagram knows it so if you're not following me there go ahead and follow me there. Um, this is a love letter to whiskey. It's the fifth year anniver fifth year anniversary edition, and this cover is stunning. You have B's point of view right here, and then you've got the last like bulk right here. You've got Jamie's POV. This book, I was like, you know, whenever you're about to cry and you've got like the tight throat. That's how I felt the whole time. And then along with the love letter to whiskey, I was like, I think that I want the non fifth anniversary edition so I ordered this from Amazon and it came in and I like I knew that I needed it because these two like they're just stunning together. Next I got Hook, Line, and Sinker. I haven't even read It Happened One Summer but I knew that if I had Hook, Line, and Sinker I would read It Happened One Summer so it's just it's sitting pretty right there on my shelf waiting to be read and recently this just got on KU but I had no idea until after I had bought the ebook. So I got Colty by Mariana Zapata. And I think there's a couple more that I want to read by her. I'm not going to read her whole backlist, but Colty was at Barnes & Noble. This was the only copy there, along with The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, which I have that. Last two, I have The Kiss Quotient. I started that in Audible, and I also have the paperback. Material Girl! Anyways, so I was at Barnes & Noble, naturally, and I saw The Bride Test and The Heart Principle, and I knew that I needed the completed series, because who's going to read one book in the series when there's three total? So, yeah, that's it. That is my haul 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.